All right, time to build our tweaked tank. I've been stuck in a time loop at the water temple doing steak nudging, little adjustments, try and get as much torque as possible. We have our gloom judger chassis here. I've steak nudged the U block down into the chassis so Link is protected from the right side now as well. I've added this U block on the back to keep a more narrow profile. Um, you can attach the motor and wheels to the side here on the rear, um, but that will make the wheels be much wider, and I think that would be a little worse on trying to get through narrow spaces. So I decided to just use the extra part to do that. Um, you do not have to. The shock emitter is back here, so it simultaneously electrifies this motor and the gloom dredger chassis, which will then electrify this front motor. I've stake dunged that down slightly um, so that there's enough space for the large wheel to be squeezed. Um, it's right at the edge where it can still be electrified. Let's test it out. So it's got great acceleration. Here's top speed pushing forward on the control stick. All right, here's neutral on the control stick. Now let's climb a hill. Look at that, went up the hill great. And now we can get some great speeds going downhill too. So let's mow over these Bokoblins at full speed. Oh, so satisfying. All right, let's, what happens if we go over this? Easy. Now we're, let's uh, try and reverse and brake as fast as we can at top speed. Right, we're braking. Not bad. A little bit of a decline too, so that wasn't helping. You can see that you can get some pretty good reverse speeds going up hills as well. One thing to point out is you see the driving large wheel on the rear here, how it has some space between it and the U-block. If you turn to the side, you can see how it's almost hitting the U-block. If it's too close and it actually does hit, u-block um, it can pop itself off so that spacing was necessary for me but yeah we got great speed great handling great torque even with the heavy gloom dredger chassis so it's time to weaponize it now There are sort of two modes when going up inclines. Right now I'm pushing forward on the control stick, and it does go a bit faster, um, but on the steeper inclines, you probably want to just uh, hold the left stick in neutral and let it climb itself, because um, it'll have better torque that way. If you hold forward, um, the four wheels on the ground actually uh, spin the motors uh, in the counterproductive direction. Um, and it's only the driving large wheels that prevent them from spinning the wrong way. So if you just hold it in neutral, there's less torque on those motors, um, and overall the vehicle can climb a little bit better. So right now is neutral. We're home finally. I haven't been here in so long. 